troops. Your main resource of gaining battle power in state of survival. It can be a long and tedious process. You could drink at least 9,000 coffees before it's finished, but could there be any way to improve your troop training speed? In today's video, we will discuss 5 tips to maximize your training speed in state of survival. We are getting closer to 1,000 subscribers. It would be awesome if we could reach that by the end of the month. If you enjoy the videos and tips shared, consider leaving a like or a comment in the comment section below. If you were not aware, we have set up a Discord server for State of Survival. If you want to interact with me or other experienced players, feel free to join us. The link is in the description. A quick tip, before we dive in the video. Do you see those yellow dots? Tap them and you'll reduce the troop training time of another Alliance member. The game has three branches of research. Battle doesn't do anything specific for your troop speeding, but is for sure very important if you are a rally leader in your alliance. I've been ignoring the economic section for the past year, but it's useful if you're just starting out and are in dire need of resources. The development tree is what interests us most today. The lower branch offers either a training capacity or speed boost. We're mostly interested in speeding up our training time, so we won't look further at capacity research. Let's use training routines one as example. If you max out that segment, you'll gain a 7.4% troop training speed buff. The training routines research continues until the final stages of the development tree. If you max them all out, you'll gain an additional 212% speed buff on training troops. Unfortunately, there is no way to speed up troop training in the settlements buff section. The only training related buff is training capacity boost. Would I recommend using it? Not really. Now imagine that you are on holiday and you don't have the time to check on your troops every 10 minutes, it might be worth to activate it. However, please don't waste precious biocaps on the 8 and 12 hour buff. 4000 and 6000 biocaps is way too much for a simple capacity boost. In conclusion, the first stages of the development tree are fairly easy to research. Try to max those out as soon as possible. Our second tip is focused on the talent tree. I think images speak more than words, so I'll just show you the difference between economy and war for training troops. For me, the difference is about 5 hours and 30 minutes. Now imagine what you can do in that amount of time. Unfortunately, it's near the end of the talent tree. You gain talent points by upgrading your chief level in game. Mine is maxed, so I can spend all possible chief talent points. If I calculated correctly, you'll need to get your chief level to 55 to max out the training speed talent. It boosts your troop training speed by 160%. For this reason alone, I usually stay in war talents. I have a lot of resources in my backpack, so I don't really have the need to increase my gathering speed. The only time I switch to economy talents is when I'm upgrading buildings or research. This is a personal preference. I don't think there is a clear answer to what branch is best for you. It really depends on your player level and state age. The third way to increase your troop training speed is by leveling up your training camps. Not only do they offer a boost for your training capacity, each building increases your training speed by a whopping 6%. This doesn't seem much at first glance, but you can build 4 of these buildings in total. This provides you with an extra 24% speed boost. The fourth tip has to do with decorations. Yup, you've heard that right, decorations. I might be exaggerating a little bit. The prosperity level boosts your training speed by 10% as long as you stay in the green zone. Being inactive, being attacked or recovering from an attack on your settlement can cause the prosperity level to drop in the orange or even the red stages. The 10% training speed boost won't be applied if that's the case. You can boost your prosperity level by upgrading buildings in-game. Building decorations improves the prosperity recovery rate. Last but not least, once your state unlocks Capital Clash, the concept of governorship is introduced in the game. The governor can hand out governor buffs to chiefs in the states. There are two buffs that increase training speed up. The Patriot buff provides you with a 50% training speed buff and Chief Strategist offers a 10% training boost. Besides individual boosts, the governor can activate Training Incubator. It increases troop training speed by 30% for 24 hours. That will be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about State of Survival, make sure to check out one of these playlists. There's a lot of videos on State of Survival hacks and hero reviews. Do you have other tips when it comes to training troops? 
Leave them in the comments below. Bye.